blessed to see another day. I thank God for allowing me and my babies to wake up to see another day. So without further ado, let's get right on up into this video. Good morning, my lovelies. This is your girl, Sheree. I'm back with another video. Today, we're gonna talk about the Prince family. This this Bianca prank, Uber prank, like it went to so many different levels. And like I said, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. So I'm on here speaking about my opinion on this video. First off, why did you even have to change your skin color, baby girl? Why? Like, why did you have to get dark makeup on you and make you make yourself look like you're black? Why did you feel like, you know, if you guys follow the Prince family on YouTube, then you'll know what I'm talking about. And I'm going to insert a couple of clips. So you can see what I'm talking about. I'm about to be a um a ghetto girl. I gotta I gotta learn how to talk. Right. <laughs> Something better than nothing. My name is Baby Chocolita. So yeah, uh <coughs> where are you going today? I feel like the Prince family is taking it too far. The long Bianca's prank video. Damien's motherfucking uber prank video like that's crazy but before we get into talking about him let's talk about bianca's like first of all honey if you gonna do a prank a uber prank why would if you're gonna do a uber prank why would you try to change your skin color to do that you could easily put on a wig a big old wig with some sunglasses you know what i'm saying how how is it possible for you to change your skin color and your voice? But you sound like an old lady. Like, like in the video, she was saying like, she gotta be ghetto. Anyways, like I was saying, you know, I understand that y'all gotta do videos to make y'all coins, but this video is, like too much saying for one okay it's a prank but i'm saying like why would you feel like it's okay to change your skin color honey well you gotta change your skin color dress up in cheetah wear these long ass nails like are you basically trying to dress up and say that's how black people dress and that's how black people act like when she said ghetto <laughs> i gotta add ghetto ghetto like uh-uh her name was gonna be bb shaquita some shit like that are you saying that's what black people that's what black parents name their children like you 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 doing a stereotype of how black women look you know what i'm saying and on top of that your voice did not even go with you're supposed to be disguised it didn't even go with it like it didn't go with it at all and the video was just so cringed like i ain't on here to bash you could say it's clout chasing it is um i do anything for clout and this is one of them but like i was saying she damien called her ugly talking about some why you looking like that you know my wife you ugly like you know what i'm saying he don't even feel comfortable in his own skin because of the last situation of being a colorist like if you can go if you go look at damien uber prank like he literally opened his nose and blew boogers on his wife like that was so disgusting. Oh my God, like, I would, man, do you think I'ma sit there and be like, bae, when we get up, when we do this Uber challenge, I want you to let me blow boogers on you. I want you, I want you to let me spit on you. I want you to let me, you know what I'm saying, do all type of shit for views. Who? Oh, okay. Motherfucker would. 
spit on me. Blow, even think about wiping a bug on me. You, I ain't gonna lie. Like I, I like, I like Bianca and Damien, but like this one right here, this video is just a no for me because it's all red flags in this video. Like it's crazy. It's crazy. It really is. You know what I'm saying? Like, and and then everybody know that these Uber pranks are fake. You know what I'm saying? The camera is literally sitting right there on your dash. You know, and then you can catch Damien looking at the camera. <laughs> like you looking right there at the camera. Your face is like looking right at the camera. Like, and 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 you know. Ain't nothing wrong with it, but they fan base is all children, so kids love watching them. They do, <laughs> literally. So they don't know what we know, the older ones know, the older adults, the mature adults, they don't know or see the red flags in, in those videos. But if you sit and pay attention, you, you will see the red flags, you know. But I feel like they, they have to do better on this colorist stuff, like y'all doing nasty things in these videos and y'all got kids watching like y'all got children watching and these some of these kids might think that it's okay to spit on people or blow boogers on them because because y'all doing it no why would y'all want to set an example for children to do stuff like that i don't understand now remind you and damien uber frank like he was talking about being a fucking sex offender. Like, he was talking about being a sex offender. He was talking about messing with little boys. He was talking about he just got out of jail. Like, why would you get on YouTube with a video talking about you a sex offender? You just got out of jail. You molested a boy. Like, do you, do y'all not think when y'all be making these videos? Like, like, I'm just lost for words. I'm just lost for words. It's crazy. I am. I'm, I'm literally, like, his video, like, I didn't even, I couldn't even watch the entire video. I just skipped through, you know. But the parts that I did see, like, it just pissed me off because my children watched them. And now I feel like it's okay to do stuff like that. No. I don't think it's okay. It's not okay at all. Whatsoever. I'm just speaking some real shit. Like, I feel like as mothers, you know, especially, we should do better, you know, especially if you're trying to get into this YouTube world, you know, and you know it's children watching, small young children watching. They look up to some of these YouTubers. And it just gets to me that the bigger YouTubers are the ones that are doing stuff that they have no business doing. And this is my opinion, but I'm speaking all facts off of me knowing that my children watch these people channel. And they on here doing pranks like this, talking about sex offenders, talking about molesting boys, you know, the the husband Damien spitting on his wife, blowing boogers on his wife, like calling her ugly because she dark skinned, and she doing a, a Uber prank video trying to change her skin color. Like my my point is is like y'all are going a little bit too far with this stuff. You know I know it's all about your coins, but you should sit back and think like yeah I got a a, a big fan base and most of them nine times out of ten all of them are children you know what i'm saying young-minded adults small children and some of them don't understand you know some of them might think it's funny but i don't think it's funny because i'm a mother of four and i don't think that it's right you know and let alone you don't even have to be a mother you know what i'm saying like you get on here and you doing stupid shit for views you getting on her changing your skin color for views like and, and it's like you don't even 
they just have to do better. They really do. They have to do better because y'all are doing like loved it. Like they are like one of the top YouTubers getting there anyway. But it, it just don't look right on them to be on here talking about, oh, I'm a molester. I'm a child molester. I just got out of jail. Oh, no. All I know is just they need to be careful on the things that they say because there's some people on YouTube that take things like that seriously. Now, just to say, like, I know I'm getting off topic, but I'm going to go back to another video where she, they did a, a prank. Damien did a so-called prank saying CPS is about to come take the baby. Like, why why do y'all get on here and do stupid shit like that? Just, like, it wouldn't be so funny if the shit happened for real. You know, it wouldn't be so, it wouldn't be all fun and games if CPS came took them kids for real. You know, especially off of him getting on here with his Uber prank, talking about he a child molester. He just molested, he molested boys. He just got out of jail. Like, how would you feel if they come knocking on your door right now and trying to investigate and try to take your kids, take y'all kids? How would y'all feel? Y'all want to get on here and, and think it's okay to talk about shit like that? Like, why? You know? But... Bianca, Damien, y'all have to do better. Like, seriously. Y'all are, y'all thinking about, all y'all thinking about some dollar signs. You know what I'm saying? Them dollars. Ain't no wrong with thinking about coins. Like, y'all, what, like, y'all supposed to be setting an example for these children that's looking up to y'all. Because it's children in this world that's looking up to y'all as y'all being a role model. But from what I'm seeing, I don't see how. I don't see how. Do better. Please do better because, like, honey, you make yourself look so stupid. Seriously. It's not even worth it. You know, and, and I, 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 you'll get on here and say you don't care, but I promise you, in this video, and, and, and I hope that one day that they'll see this video on some, on some serious shit, like, Y'all are y'all got a big fan base. Y'all got children that look up to y'all. Y'all got y'all own children that look up to y'all. Y'all need to sit back, take a step back, and realize what the fuck y'all doing. Like seriously, I'm not on here to bash. I'm just on here to give my opinion. And these are all straight facts. Like stop just thinking about coins. I mean. You could think about coins, but that shouldn't be the only thing on your mind. Like, you shouldn't want to wake up and be like, yeah, we finna do this this crank, and we just gonna do anything to get views. No, because one day y'all gonna do anything, and it's gonna get y'all in a fucked up situation. You know? It's gonna get you in a fucked up situation. It is. And if you don't want to be in a fucked up situation, don't, don't do fucked up shit. Do not do fucked up shit. Like, this color of shit. Like, that make people think that you racist. Like, you should go back and sit down and realize, like, when you had your daughter, you were saying some colorist shit. Like, you and your man. Y'all be y'all saying stupid shit. Y'all got pretty ass kids. It don't fucking matter if your baby came out chocolate. That's your baby. You supposed to love your baby. Don't matter if your baby, if you, if your baby came out motherfucking hella light-skinned with gray eyes. So fucking what? That's your fucking baby. It don't matter if she was chocolate with gray eyes. It's your baby, but this is coming to the end of my video. I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Like it up before you start watching. Make sure you come show your girl support when I get on here. I speak nothing but real. None fake over here, you know. If you like listening and watching all that fake shit, stay over there. But in the meantime, come on over here and get some of this realness.